Okay, so I'm going to show you how to solve a word problem, a linear programming word problem, and how to solve that in Excel very quickly using Excel Solver. This is a simple maximization problem. Um, I got this problem out of this book here, uh, Operations Management, the 14th edition by William Stevenson. A uh, very good reference book if you need a book uh, on Operations Manager Management. I highly recommend it. Okay, so let's just get right into the problem. Um, let's just read it real quick. It says, a retired couple supplement their income by making fruit pies, which they sell to a local grocery store. During the month of September, they produce apple and grape pies. Apple pies are sold for $4.50. Grape pies are sold for $3.60. The couple is able to sell all the pies they produce owing to their high quality. They use fresh ingredients. A lot of the stuff we don't need, right? But... Uh, you know, usually they use fresh ingredients. That doesn't really matter. But anyway, uh, we're just looking for numbers. But let's just read the problem. Flour and sugar are purchased once each month. And for the month of September, they have 1,800 cups of, of sugar and 1,700 cups of flour. Each apple pie requires one and a half cups of sugar, three cups of flour. Each grape pie requires two cups of sugar and flour. We want to know how many, we, first we want to know uh, how many uh, apple and grape pies we should make in order to maximize our revenue. In other words, when we're, and we have the constraints of how much flour we have, and also we have a time constraint here. It takes six minutes to make an apple pie and three minutes to make a grape pie, and you only have 60 hours. And then B, we want to know the amounts of sugar, flour, and time that will be unused. Okay, so first thing we're going to do is we're going to do the given. So you, and, and these, type of uh, these type of problems, really the best thing you can do to start with is declare, declare your variables. Okay, and... We will say, I'm just going to, well, I'll make that italic. We'll say, uh, well, they're, they're making two types of pies and we want to know how many produce. So the variables are where you want to solve. So we'll say A is uh, the number of apple pies to produce. And B, I'll call it G for grape, right? G is the number uh grape pies to produce so mathematicians they always like to you know use letters that way they don't have to write so much right so we'll just declare variables we want to know what we're solving for so we want to find that okay um that's why that's why it's a good idea to declare variables so the next thing i'm going to do is i'm going to start writing the equations and putting this putting these numbers in in a form that i can solve it and the first thing I want to do is I'm going to do something called the objective function. A lot of times it's called Z for short. And we know the objective function is going to be, uh, we want to maximize this in this case. We want to maximize our revenue. This isn't the cost, it's the revenue. So we how are we going to get re revenue? It's going to be the number of apple pies times $4.50 plus the number of grape pies we produce times uh, $3.60. Okay, so we want to maximize this. All right, so we can start putting in some of the constraints now. In the first constraints, we see, I see three constraints. We see, uh, uh, we talk about sugar, and flour and time right so it says the sugar we have the sugar the most sugar so all these are these are all this is this is the most we have right I'm gonna, well first we say the sugar how many cups of sugar let's do it this way we have 1800 cups of sugar 2700 cups of flour and 60 60 hours Okay, you got to be careful, Kirk. We don't want to. We don't want to mix units. We have minutes and hours, so the hours is going to be equal to sixty times sixty, right? Because there's, because there's uh there's sixty minutes and an hour, so it's thirty six hundred hours. So this is cups, cups, and hour or minutes. We converted the hours, the sixty minutes to, to sixty hours to minutes, and all these are are the most we can use, right? The most we can use is eighteen hundred cups of sugar. 2,700 cups of flour, of you know, flour and 3,600 minutes. That's all we have available. Okay, so now let's go in here and fill in this side. 
hopefully this is making sense. I'm trying to go fast and keep this video short. Um, so so let's start. Let's get some of the more of these numbers and see if we can put them in here. They have uh, we already have these two numbers, right? 1827, 3600. So now we got to put in. Uh, apple pie takes one and a half cups of sugar and three cups of flour. So we know apple pies are here. So it's going to be 1.5 cups of sugar and uh, three cups of, whoops, three cups of flour. And also we can put the time in there where we're an apple is six minutes. Okay. And the sugar, it says, or I mean the grape pies take uh, two cups of, of sugar, three cups of flour, and they just take three minutes to produce each one. Remember, each one of these numbers I'm taking at times a number. Remember, we're going to solve for the number of apple pies and the number of grapes. So it's three, three cups of flour times the number of apple pies plus three cups of, of flour times the number of grape pies it has to be less than or equal to 27 or cups. That's all we have. So we just it makes sense if I kind of think about it in your head. Like six cups of, or six minutes to make how many apple pies plus three minutes to make how many grape pies? Well, I only have 3,600 minutes available. So we basically have this all set up. So what do we want to find? We want to find, uh, it says first, uh, the number of grape pies and apple pies will maximize revenues. And it looks like it's asking for the revenue too, even though it doesn't ask it for it here. So we could say uh, A, G, and revenue. And we want to maximize that part. And also we want to find, uh, let me let me insert, so I'm going to insert and call this uh, part A. Of course, we don't want that bold. And for part B, we want to find uh, uh, the slack. I'll put it up here, slack. Did we have, did we have any extra? So I'll say this, I'll say for... Uh, Sugar. Well, I'll just put it here. I'll copy these. Copy. Paste. Okay. So we want to find how many, how many pies, apple and grape to make. What revenue I'm going to get when I do it, and then do I have anything extra? Did I end up not using any of my material? All right. So for solution. So this is the fun part. This is very easy. And I'm just going to set this up and you can you can follow this methodology for, you know, for bigger, larger problems or smaller problems. So the first thing is I'm going to do, I'm going to copy all these down here. I'll put them somewhere. I'll just put them right here. And I'm going to copy. Well, here, what I, so here I'm going to go uh, equals this. That way, if I change anything, we already know. Not what I want to do. I want to copy this. Okay. So we have, so I basically, all I'm doing is I'm taking this, I'm taking these and putting them here. And I'm putting the constraints right here just to remind me. I wouldn't have to do this, but this kind of makes sense to put them down here where I can see them. So I'm just putting them down here where I can see them. And we're going to guess. I'm going to say A, A and G. Let's just say we are making, I don't know, we're going to make Excel figure it out, but I'm going to start out just guessing 100 apples, 100 grape pies. Okay? And my answer is going to be here. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to highlight these four because I want, I want, I want to figure out what, what these numbers are. So I'm going to equal M multiply. And I'm going to multiply um, this four, four high by two wide matrix times, uh, now I'm going to have to transpose. Oh, that's spelled transpose right. I want to transpose these two. That makes this into a... Transpose means flip it. So it's going to be a 4 by 2 times a 2 by 4. And the insides have to be the same. So it's 2 on the inside and the outside is the side. Oh, there's the size. And the outside is... This is the top one is a 4 by 2. So it starts with a 4. This transpose makes it a 2 by 1 makes it a two by one so it's going to be a four by two times a two by one so the outsides are four and one so this is a four four by one so it looks like that'll work hopefully that made sense
I'm going to go control shift enter. You don't really need to know that. Just kind of follow my methodology. Um, let me go ahead and uh, equals formula. So you can see that formula. Now you can't type, you can't type these little brackets. You have to highlight where you want your answer and then type this in and then you have to hit uh, control And then uh, shift, <coughs> excuse me, and then enter. And you just can't hit enter after you hit control, shift, enter, and then now put those in here. All right. So now, if I change these number, if I change this to one and one, whoop, and one, well, these are going to change automatically, right? So. Uh, 1 times 450 plus 1 times 360 is 810. If I change that to 0, it's going to be 450 because I just made one apple pie. But I'm going to change this. And all these change too accordingly to whatever I have here. I'm going to start leaving it at 100. Just, so if I made 100 each, I would have, uh, let's just make this, uh, we'll format this the same. This is dollars, right? I'd have $810. But I have to figure out, see, I didn't even begin to use all my material, did I? I didn't use any of my time, all my time. So I need to, I can make, you know, I want to maximize, I want to change these numbers. I want to excel to guess these numbers until, until it's uh, used as much of this cat as it can, but didn't go over this, right? So I have to, until Excel to do that. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to go here. I'm going to use something called Solver. So I'm going to go to Data. Then I'm going to go to Solver. If you don't have Solver showing on your Excel, you can Google how to add Solver. It'll be somewhere on YouTube. Uh, I'm going to, I'm just going to click it because I already have it here. It's a free thing. So I want to maximize this. I want to maximize my revenue by changing these. I want to guess these in order to maximize my revenue. And then I want to add some constraints. I want to say all of these are less than or equal to all of these. Okay. So the, I don't have to do them one at a time. I can highlight those since they're all the same direction. I can do them all just as one. I can go OK. And then I'm going to go ahead and leave this as simplex. Now what this does here, this makes sure, this just says I'm not going to make a negative amount of apple pies or grape pies, right? So you want to have that checked. And then now watch, when I hit solve, these numbers will change. So I go solve. I'm going to cleat my solution. And let me... So my revenue is uh, $3,510 and I should make uh, I should make 300 apples and 600 grapes and that was what the answer was, right? Now the, this part here, all I'm going to do is I'm just going to go equals this minus this minus uh, this. So I had 150 cups of sugar left, but I used all 2,700 cups of flour and all. So that's where this comes from. This answer here. So it's actually pretty easy. You know, this is just a methodology. Probably the trickiest part is what did you do here with this m multiply? But you, once you get the hang of it, you do it the same way every time, right? So it's pretty easy to do. Uh, solver is very easy to install. Remember, solver is under data. If it doesn't show up. Uh, you can install it. Uh, so that's that. That problem's pretty easy to do. I did it in 15 minutes or less. So that's linear programming. Yeah, so if you kind of stick to that type of methodology, uh, you know, sometimes you might be minimizing. It might be cost. These might be different directions. We just have to kind of figure out how to, if you can set it up this far, the rest is pretty easy. This is just pretty simple. Excel will do the work for you. So hopefully that helped. Uh, I'll go ahead and put a copy of this. Uh, this particular file in the description and uh, if you like my if you like my picture will come up here in a second if you if you want to subscribe to my channel click that little picture uh, hit like if you want make any comments I appreciate comments that's it for today hopefully that helped bye